Hello everybody. I received two autograph return requests through the mail today and I'm making this video with the intent of uploading it uh, within the next couple of days, which I don't usually do, but this is a really important video because they should both be from Richard Petty. These are the last, these are two of the last four cards I need for the autograph, or for the set, the 50 card set, 45 or 50 card set, number 29 and 30, which is awesome. And let's see. In freaking incredible. Number 21 and 22. These are the last four that I needed to complete this entire set that I've been working on for over three years to get autographed. So I'm going to take a picture of these. Let's see. There we go. All right, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put these in the sleeves. usually do video of this part of it and this is how I do it each time I get the cards in then, so let's see today's the 10th Two right there. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Oh man, this is so cool. All right, then we need number twenty-nine and thirty. So we got twenty-nine. So cool and thirty. That's so badass. All right, let's see if let's see if this will work. Ah, there we go. It'll pretty much fit the whole the whole card thing right there, or the whole. It's all in frame basically. All right, there we go. This is the nineteen ninety one tracks Richard Petty or STP set. And my finding these cards, I originally went on eBay to. I saw them originally in the Autograph 500 Facebook group. People were posting pictures of them getting those autographed, and I for totally forgot about this set, so I had to go, to, you know, I asked around which set they were from, and then I ended up looking for a hand-collated set, and people wanted, like, $10 for them plus shipping, so that was, like, you know, 16 bucks plus tax, so it was going to cost me 20 bucks for the set, and I found a full sealed box for, like, ten dollars or fifteen dollars and i made like four sets from there plus i got a bunch of extras so that was the way that i wanted to go about doing it but every single one is autographed we have them autographed in white silver blue let's see there's some gold there we go yep numbered out of 50 and then this is the harry gantz set that i got done too which was really cool Harry will sign more than two at a time, so this one didn't take as long. And I'm working on getting some of the other people to sign these. I mean, there's I think there's one of Earnhardt and a few people that have passed. I think there's a Dale Jarrett one somewhere in here, but it's it's Gant. Yeah, right there. So Dale or er, Ned Jarrett. Not I, I might have said Dale Jarrett, but Ned Jarrett right there. He did autograph it, so that's really cool. And th this is really this is a really big day because. I finally got the Richard Petty set complete. I sent those cards out a couple times before. I think they got lost in the mail or, you know, there's a time where I got 
a totally destroyed return envelope that could have been this. Um, there's a few other autographs, you know, that it could have been. But I'm so, I don't, you know, I just don't know how to properly communicate the excitement that I have. And if you're a set builder or completist, you understand like what it, how it feels to, to complete something. Now, as far as like uniformity, would it be great to uh, have them all in the same color? Sure, I think so. And that's not what happened. And I'm more than delighted. Let me show them on an angle. You can see all the autographs. The white ones are a little more difficult to see. That's totally fine. I don't care if he signed it in invisible ink and I have to use black light to see it. An autograph from Richard Petty is one of the most delightful things I've experienced in my collecting time in NASCAR. With NASCAR cards. So, so that's it. I got these two today. Today's the 10th of... Time we're recording this. It's the 10th of... Uh, April 2024. I sent these off around the same time and they came back the same day. So I'm pumped. I'm excited. I, I, you know, still can't believe it. I'm working on my 88 Max set still. I have a ton from that set autographed. And uh, yeah, some I'll have to buy because some are no longer with us. But all right, that's it. All right, thanks for watching. If you like the video, you know what to do.